hi guys welcome again to my channel today i'm showing you how i made all these six delicious meals using an air fryer i hope you enjoy the video our first recipe will be hawaiian pizza recipe i'll put in my all-purpose flour i'm just using the normal wheat flour the all-purpose one and then i'll add in some salt i'm just eyeballing this and then I'll mix that. After that, I'll take some warm water and add my yeast. You can get these yeasts from your local supermarkets, like mine I got from Naivas. I'll add it in my warm water and then stir it well. I'll then add the mixture into my flour to make a dough. I'm mixing this with the spatula and then after that I'll transfer it on top of my countertop and I'm going to knead it better from here and I'm going to use some oil so that the dough will not stick on my hands or on the countertop. This kneading should take around 5 minutes. Yeah, you need to knead this so well so that it's well mixed. I'll then transfer it into this bowl to stay for like one hour until it doubles in size and I'll put some oil down so that it doesn't stick. Also I'm going to use this cling film to cover it or you can use a towel. As I wait for that one hour I'll go ahead and prepare my ingredients. I'm making Hawaiian pizza, that's my favorite, and uh, that's why you're seeing some pineapple here. One hour is over and so I'll take my baking paper and cut it into a round shape. My air fryer is round and so I'll cut it into round shape. And if you need these baking papers, you can get them from any local supermarket. I got mine from Quick Mart. My dough has finally doubled in size as you can see and so I'll just put it, I'll transfer it onto this baking sheet. I'm using my hands to spread it, you don't need any rolling pin for this, your hands can do it better. Then I'll get my pizza sauce, this one too I got from Quickmart supermarket and you can get them from any local supermarket. I'll then transfer it into my air fryer with that baking paper and then I'll let it cook at 180 for 15 minutes. It's 9 minutes now and I'll remove it and put in my red and green bell peppers and then I return it to cook for the remaining 6 minutes. 
Six minutes are over and my pizza is well cooked. I really love how this turned out. Moving on to our second recipe, we're going to make some cupcakes and these will be very simple and straight. I'll write everything down for you guys to understand better. I don't have cups in the house for making cupcakes so I'll go ahead and use these tiny balls that I have in the house to do that. The results might be slightly different but not that much. I consider this perfect, soft from bottom to up as you can see it's a bit flat i think it's because of the plates that i use the balls that i use or maybe because i left them outside for some time before i put them in you know when you're shooting you need to take some time to change camera and all that but as you can see this is very fluffy and spongy yeah there as you can see that one and even on the flat top, it's still very soft and spongy, as you can see. It's not hard. I tried to pour more, and as you can see the results, I think those ones were a bit flat because they took long before I put them in. These ones, I just put in immediately after pouring the butter. On to our third recipe, we are going to make some dinner rolls, or we also call them scones here and i think this one is also very straight so i don't have to talk much but i'll write everything This one requires proper kneading and I think this will take me around 7 minutes for me to knead this well. And also I'm good at eyeballing and that's why I'm not writing measurements. You don't have to be so accurate for you to make this.
Our dough is ready for baking, but there's one step left. I'm going to brush it with some egg and this will give it a shiny look and you'll see that when it's ready. See that guys, this is another win. And now we are moving to the next recipe and that is some chicken. As my chicken cook, I'm going to make some sauce right here to eat with it. I'm going to blend a ripe mango. I'll add some butter in my pot and then add the mango on top of it and then cook it a bit. After that, I'll add some ketchup and stir that again and then add some honey just three tablespoons of honey. You can add more or less, or some people use even sugar, but I prefer honey. I'll just cover it and let it simmer for like two minutes and my sauce will be ready. My chicken is halfway done and I'll just take them out and turn them and then I return them for like 10 minutes, still at 180 and by that time I know they will be ready. My chicken is well cooked and right now at this point you can eat them this way or you can dip them in this sauce. I dipped just three pieces and the rest of the sauce I've kept in the fridge. I'll take that one later. Moving on to recipe number five. These are just uh, potato wedges. You can just cook your potatoes in here instantly and you eat them. Also, this is very straightforward. I'll just write and you'll see everything. For those who don't like spices, you can just bake your potatoes plain. And also you can cut them into any desired shape like round or the ones like french fries yeah chips yeah you can cut them into any desired shape and still cook them yeah i'll bake it at 200 for 20 minutes and i think after 10 minutes i'll remove that and turn it a bit mix it a bit and then return it and let it cook for the remaining minutes
and here it's ready you can return it and make it as crunchier as you want and with me this is okay i don't like very crunchy potato wedges i'll just take it again with my tomato sauce this one here is a bonus recipe i did this last week in my last video and this is just something that you can cook when you're alone and you don't want to cook too much food you can mix your potatoes together with your marinated chicken i've just marinated this one the same way i marinated the other one that i've just uh, shown you before yeah so you will just put it on top there and then put it in your air fryer and let it cook and one thing i'll say is that air fryers do help a lot and with this i think i'll reduce my time in the kitchen sometimes when i don't feel like cooking those heavy foods i forgot also to tell you the price most of you have been asking me so much about that mine was 8500 shillings so you can call the number right there they have so many household items you can buy anything from them love you all guys have a good time bye